What's going on guys? My name is Brennan Myers and welcome to 30 for 30 where almost every single day we bring you a new bodyweight workout to follow. So without further ado, let's jump right in. They got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double. All right, here we go. 30 for 30. Today's workout is chest and triceps with just a little bit of shoulders, it burns like crazy, bodyweight training workouts, and that's the cool thing about this series. Every morning by 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we release a new workout for you to follow. If it's not posted by that time, it just means it's a rest or recovery day. Don't cheat yourself, trust the process. Now, before every single exercise, we show you which muscles are being worked in the movement. You can check that out for a little bit more information. And just before we get started into this workout, I'm gonna give you a few tips that you could be following not only for today, but future workouts and thereafter. All right, quick tip number one. If you focus on the contraction at the end of each movement, you will feel a huge difference in muscle activation. Number two, one of the biggest mistakes people make when doing dips is going too far down in the movement. This is not going to build your chest, shoulders, and triceps anymore. Number three, when completing many tricep movements, it's best if you keep the shoulders more externally rotated and scaps retracted and depressed. Number four, the Create You Low Stim pre-workout is dropping soon, I promise. You'll be the first to know when it does. And last but not least, number five, if you can use a partner for resistance for some of these movements, do it. It's definitely a fun way to train. All right, let's jump right in. We're gonna be on the ground here. We're gonna be doing 15 seconds of forward and back leans in a push-up position. So essentially, hands are gonna be shoulder width apart, everything's gonna be pushed away, really squeezing your abs in. Now check this out, I'm gonna be pushing away from the ground as so, look, and I'm not here, I'm here. And I'm gonna open up my hands slightly, that's external rotation of those shoulders, all right? All you're gonna do is lean forward and lean back. Lean forward and watch my feet right here, ready? My feet are just typing back and then forward. And notice how far forward I'm going. If you're a little bit more beginner, you're not gonna be able to go as forward as, as I am, but I am pushing my whole body away and really, really focusing on those anterior delts and chest. Second superset, we're gonna be jumping into assisted handstand push-ups pop off. So what this means, is essentially you're gonna be in a position and you can bend your knees if you would like, you can make them a little bit more straight. You can also put your feet on top of a couch or a counter or something to make it a little bit more difficult. But what you're gonna do is tuck in your chin here, okay? Actually rotate, squeeze all of your fingertips into the ground as much as you can, okay? Tuck this chin in and you're gonna to come to the top of your head. And the most important thing is that you're not flaring out your elbows and you're not too far in with those elbows. It's right around at that middle portion of those two, okay? So you're gonna come down, you're gonna pause here, and what you're gonna do from this position is pop off and come right back down. Pop off, come right back down. Pop off, come right back down. You'll notice how I'm sliding in a little bit just because I have socks on, so I don't recommend really wearing socks. Now you're gonna be supersetting this with lateral pulsators, okay? This is a good amount of time. Just make sure that you're getting all 50 of these in, so you're gonna be just right here. Take your, take your hands, bring them up by your side, tuck in your chin, squeezing your abs. You don't wanna be here, cause you're not gonna be putting all the strain and the work on your entire shoulders and that upper trap, all right? So you're gonna be here, and all you're gonna do is right here. You don't want it too fast. You want it just not too slow here, not too fast, it's right in between. And just work and finish strong. Here we go, super set. Clap push-ups into chest squeeze. Clap push-up, you're just gonna be in a regular push-up position. Now, one of the biggest tips I have for you is open up your fingertips and squeeze into the ground. You're really going to be able to embrace the entire movement and stabilize in different positions as you go. All right, so hands can be a little bit wider this time. We can go a little bit wider in, in this movement and you're just gonna be completely straight. You'll notice if you take a, a something and you put it straight from my my head all the way down to my feet. Everything's straight, okay? So all you're gonna be doing is coming here and coming up, coming up, okay? Now, you can go on your knees if you would like, squeeze in your stomach. Notice how I went from a curve in my spine here to squeezing everything in and adjusting my pelvis. So I'm gonna be coming here and I'm gonna pause at the bottom. Again, 
The reason why I'm wearing socks right now is so that you can be reminded to remove your socks. That's literally why I'm wearing these things right now. All right, then we're gonna be moving straight into chest squeeze. You can be standing up if you would like. Make sure everything's completely straight. Now, with these, usually we go here in like a praying hands. Instead, we're gonna come up here. Remember, hands just outside of that chin here. Good amount away, away from that chin, away from that head. And then you're gonna turn your hands slightly and remove all that stress from that anterior delt. It's still gonna work slightly, but it's gonna be more on that chest. And you'll notice how much more your chest burns. Okay, we have table controlled presses. It's gonna be single arm. All right, so I want you to find something that's about hip length or lower. I generally like it a little bit lower on my thigh so I can really get a good squeeze on my chest. Now, your, your feet are going to be pretty damn wide, if I'm gonna be honest. You wanna just really have stabilization throughout the entire movement, so squeeze those, those toes into the ground wherever you go, okay? Now, you can bend your knees slightly. It's almost as if you're in, you're in like an athletic stance here, keeping that chin tucked as so, all right? So you're gonna come in this athletic stance, big chest, squeezing your abs. You're gonna just, all you're gonna do is Lean forward, okay? Now as you lean forward, you're gonna notice when you grab the actual countertop, whatever it is, you can either grab it here or here. I generally like to grab it with the thumb around so I get a little bit more grip throughout the entire movement, all right? So what you're gonna do is keep everything tucked. You're gonna come down as so. Now make sure you're not coming too close to the middle of your chest with this hand. We don't want that. We want it to be a little bit further away here. Then, once you're in this position, you are going to, now this is tricky, your feet are going to slowly come forward towards the countertop because you're trying to move away as much as possible and squeeze against that chest. This is a controlled movement, okay? So you're gonna be here, you're gonna come down, boom, and then you're going to come up and raise up and squeeze. You're gonna feel your chest burning like crazy, contracting like crazy if you do this correctly. So again, I'm here, all right, I'm here. Fall forward, boom, thumb is behind. We're gonna come down, away, centered, boom. Now, I'm coming up and I'm squeezing and notice how now my hand is under my chest. So I'm coming from here to here and squeeze it, okay? Then we're gonna be moving into three-point pec flies on some type of a door hinge or something, a part of a door or a wall, okay? Now what you're gonna do, you don't wanna be fully out as so. You don't wanna abduct and just be like, all right, I'm gonna get started three-point pec fly. No, what you want is to come at this position, keep everything tucked, neutral spine, okay? Then you're going to turn slightly, just slightly. Look how slight that turn is, like 20 degrees, 20 to 30 degrees. That's where you're gonna start. Now, you don't want your hand to be too high above your chin. You want it to be right about shoulder length or shoulder height or just lower, okay? And all you're gonna do is squeeze for five seconds or three seconds, sorry, three seconds, that's one point. The second point is gonna be another 20 degrees. Squeeze, and this time it's right in front of you. And then the third one is going to be all the way past your body just to get another 20 degrees and squeeze it for three seconds and then resetting. <laughs> this, this superset right here is freaking nuts. Try it out yourself and let's get it. Quick and easy superset, I'm just kidding, it's not easy. <laughs> so the push up, time under tension, meaning eight seconds down, very, very slow, eight seconds up, very, very slow. Just a few of those reps, okay? Your hands are gonna be just outside of shoulder width apart. Externally rotate at those shoulder joints so that they're not flaring out with those elbows or anything like that, okay? Now make sure that your, your glutes are, are tight in, everything is straight, you're gonna be coming down as so. Very, very slow. You wanna just feel everything in your chest as much as possible, pause at the bottom, then it's gonna be eight seconds up. We're gonna be supersetting that with a much more, much more difficult movement. All right, so single arm chair dips. I want you to be near a counter, something that you can utilize, that you can grab, and just help and aid throughout the entire movement. Now, you can place your feet in different positions. You can place them wide, you can place them staggered, you can be here. For me, 
for me, I really like to be in this position right here. So if the camera can come over here really quick to show a different different view, yeah. So you can notice that I'm almost on my on the ball of my foot here, on my opposite foot, all right? And I'm keeping my chin tucked here as so. And as I come down, notice how I'm allowing myself to lean slightly forward, but not too much and squeezing all the way up top, okay? Now, to make this even harder for yourself, and this is very important, we don't want our elbows to be shooting out like this. We want external rotation of that shoulder joint. So externally rotate, in a sense, all right? What you can do is alleviate a lot of what you're doing on this hand. So, if you wanna come here and just go in one position as so, you can come here and come all the way up. Or, you can even take one foot off. So I'll take one foot off here, and I'll come down, and come right back up. Now stabilizing, you can find different movements in the movement to make it harder for yourself. If you're way more advanced like myself, you can make it happen if you're a beginner. Use that stagger stance, and you'll be good to go. All right, here we go, as many reps as possible. Dips. Now the most important thing when it comes to a dip is making sure that you are not coming too far down in the movement. I see this all the time. You're all the way down here. You're putting your shoulder joint in such a horrible position. Just because you get a better stretch does not mean it's going to come with muscle and muscle growth in the end. All right. So what we want to do is come in with a neutral spine as much as we can. Obviously as you're going down in the position, you're going to be leaning forward because that's what the dip calls for. What you don't want to do is come straight down down as so, and my elbows are like this. You want to externally rotate, externally rotate, externally rotate as much as you can, all right? So in that position, we're gonna externally rotate. You'll notice how everything's pretty straight. We're gonna keep our feet off the ground. You can cross them if you would like. I generally like to keep my feet as so, okay? And then, as you come down, I want you to think of almost, like you're not trying to fall like forward with your face hitting the ground, but just a slight lean, so it's here, Lean, then come down, boom. Just this position here, keeping your chin tucked, and then coming right back up and squeezing at the top. That's so, so important. So we'll show you one more time. All right, feet are off the ground, external rotation as much as we can. Not keeping our elbows dragging against the, the body, not all the way flaring out, but right in the middle here, about like 30 degree angle as so. So we're right here, come down, boom. Keeping everything tucked right back up squeezing up at the top and boom that is a dip all right finishing off these triceps in this entire workout with counter tricep extensions as i said you want, your, you want to be externally rotated with the majority of any tricep movements really and retracting and pressing your scaps keeping your chin tucked squeezing in your abs here okay your feet can be a little bit wider if you're more of a beginner or they can be straight or you can bend them slightly all up to you and essentially what you're going to do rather than looking at the counter with your eyes you're going to tuck your chin and look at the ground where the crease is from the wall to the ground that's really the way i do them always okay and as you come down you'll notice that your head wants to come here that's not what we want we want it to be tucked staying in the same position the entire time coming to the top of the of the counter and then coming right back up now the other thing if you go too wide, you're gonna see that you don't have a lot of stabilization as you're going down. Your shoulders are gonna feel a little off, and if you're too close, you're not really gonna have too much positioning to put your head through, okay? So we want your hands and your thumbs to be right on the outside of this counter, okay? So again, I'm gonna show you again. Boom. To the top of your forehead, and coming right back up. Notice how my elbows are not flaring out, and boom, that is your tricep exercise. All right, so there you have it. That is your workout for the day. Give me some of your feedback. Do you like the workout? Send me a message on Instagram, at the B Myers. Subscribe, comment down below, like, do, do it all. Do it all, we need it for the algorithm so more people can see these workouts and utilize bodyweight training. I absolutely love it. I'm currently bodybuilding and I'm doing a lot of things outside of bodyweight training, but once I'm done with my pro card and get everything that I want with my goals, I'm gonna be right back here doing bodyweight training, hitting the park, hitting more, utilizing movements and functionality with you guys. So, thanks for tuning in for another episode of 30 for 30. This is your chest and triceps workout, and I'll see you next time. Peace.